Hey guys, CB Super here. So in the last video, I showed you how you could make titles using the Fusion tab. And if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and click the link up on the top of the screen. In this video, we're gonna go over pre-made titles that are in DaVinci Resolve 16. One benefit to using the pre-made titles would be speed. It's gonna be a lot faster than having to create a title in Fusion, connect all the nodes, and then bring it back into edit. And if you're just doing a simple title, that might be the way to go. But obviously there's gonna be limitations to that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that we're inside DaVinci Resolve, let's go ahead and go over some really easy to use titles. So I already have some forest footage put down on my timeline. Now I just wanna place a few titles. Now these titles we'll get to in a little bit, but first, in order to actually place a title on your timeline, you need to come up here to the effects library. Click on the effects library in your toolbox under titles. You'll notice that there's a bunch of these standard titles. And then there's a bunch of fusion titles. Now we're not gonna go over the, all the fusion titles today, but we are gonna go through each one of these titles today. First you're gonna see is the lower third title. In order to actually place these on the timeline, all you have to do is drag it, left click and drag it, and place it on top of your image. You'll notice that the title already automatically updates. And in order to edit this title, you can come over here to the right side on the inspector. If your inspector is not clicked, you can just come up here, click on the inspector, make sure that your cursor is already selected on the title itself title this CB Super. And you'll notice there's also, because this is a lower third, you can also use this when you're introducing a character. So you might want to actually come down here and there'll be another text box and that's where you're going to enter in this lower title. Maybe I am the producer. Nope, producer. You can also change the color quite easily. So there's several different options here. You can obviously change the color over here. You can also, if you'd like to work with the sliders, the RGB sliders, you can do that. They give you some easy specific colors like green, orange, magenta. You can work in a color spectrum if you want and they even have an easier version, uh, crayons and colored pencils if, if that's your thing. But one thing I like to do is I actually like to come over here and I like to use a color picker and I might pick a color that's actually inside of my production. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and click off of this and hide that title for now. And I'm gonna open up this, uh, open up all the titles on the bottom here. This is gonna be your left lower third. This is what the uh, middle lower third looks like. And of course the right lower third. Next, we're gonna take a look at these scrolling text. One thing that's interesting about this is the actual length of the clip determines the speed in which the title scrolls. So you'll notice if the clip is shorter, it'll scroll faster versus if the title is longer, it'll actually scroll slower. Uh, one thing you can do is if you want it to scroll really fast, just shorten up that clip a bit and it'll move even faster. Next up and probably the most used is actually just the regular text title. If you're looking for a simple title, this is probably it. It has several characteristics that you can change and animate if you want to. You can add a drop shadow, you can give it a stroke, and if there isn't enough attributes to animate in there, you can actually click over to the video tab where you can find your zoom, where you can make it bigger or smaller. You can change the position. You could rotate it if you wanted to. You can pitch and yaw. You could even flip the title or flip it horizontally. Um, there's several cropping. So you could use this to animate the text on and off. Um, all you have to do is keyframe it and move it a few frames. And of course, the last title on this list is gonna be the Text Plus. Now the Text Plus adds a few features from Fusion and gives you a few more options that you can change and animate. Right away, you'll notice that there's several more tabs inside of the Text Plus title. Take some time to play around with this and look at all the different layouts and backgrounds and colors. So that's gonna wrap up this quick tutorial on titles. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Leave my cup. Last time I've been, I just need to stop.